Hello, and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm MGX. And I'm Captain Emoji. And this is Star Fox Assault. The uh, sequel to Star Fox Adventures. And another, like, original game in the franchise. It better be. <laughs> it's not just a retelling of the original Star Fox, but with new characters, I promise. Well, we're going to Fortuna, I guess. So oh, that's Fortuna. Remnants of Andros's butchers. You've kept us busy, but now your end is at hand. Hooray, the military's winning. We won't be employed. <laughs> Show these dogs we visit. Wait, no, you guys are the dogs. They're they're monkeys. No, no, I think that was the monkeys. Oh, was it? Yeah. Ah. Man, they have a big military for being on the verge of destruction. Well, they do now. Uh, it got wrecked. Well, they're uh, gonna get wrecked again. They got stealth missiles. <laughs> When they were fighting against Andros, uh, Andros pretty much wrecked their entire armed forces. Uh, that's part of the reason they had to hire Team Star Fox, was they had ships but nobody to pilot them because they kept losing pilots. Um, and because you guys did such a good job, they they keep hiring you. Hooray! Did you need our help? You seem to be getting shot at with a lot of missiles. You know, maybe Crystal joined them because she got pants. You know, we do have better clothing technology. I'm just saying, she, she used to wear a spacesuit like everybody else. She seems to have jumped right into that whole jumpsuit idea. Heck, jumpsuits are convenient. Heck yeah. It's like your old loincloth, but it has pockets. And it's well, warm. Like Whoa. Whoa. General Yikes. Pepper looks like he has not aged well. This, this war has taken a toll. He is aging in dog years. I think that's... I think that, <laughs> I'm laughing at my own pun. Peppy looks pretty good, though. I'm thinking that's why Peppy had to take over in command, though. Is at the end of this, he was just... <laughs> General Pepper had had too much. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now get prepped and go. Let's go, team. Hooray. It looks pretty good, though. Like, yeah. I mean, nah, I mean, uh, Pepper's, Pepper's ghost aside there. <laughs> uh, whew. Dude needs to retire something fierce. And, and he does. But, yeah, he needs to. But so do you think they land him like that? I have no idea. But I mean they have tractor beam technology. They oh, probably I just suppose. pull him in. But I mean they're having to try and justify how they fit inside the Great Fox. Mm. That's true. It doesn't exactly have a I'm curious strip. I'm curious what Crystal did with her magic bird friend. Right? They just have the staff bolted on the other side of the air wing. I mean, it was a magic weapon that was powered by crystals. It might be a useful upgrade. <laughs> now that looks like one of those artifacts you probably have to plug into a yeah, rock at probably. the bottom of a, volca of a volcano or something. You're not wrong. All ships, avoid the Armada's fire. Aim for Oikini's flagship. Winkiny. Yeah, he's, he's a big guy. Slippy, you've already got bogeys on your tail. Jesus, Slippy. <laughs> this is this is definitely like maximum Slippy here. <laughs> it's like the battle just started. We're still like outlining objectives and stuff, and you already have picked up a bogey. I mean, Crystal's Crystal's the new person on the team, and, and she's already recognized that. Uh, Slippy is the one that everyone picks on. But yeah, uh, no, this one has a bit more space battles, and you get a tank, and like, it it embraces all the future weapons that were lacking from the first one. 
which is nice, I guess. Um, certainly a bit less jarring than the first one, but, mm. you know, I guess everyone didn't want to go on a mystic quest with a stack. Like they wanted to blow stuff up in space. Yeah, do a barrel roll. Or an alien around roll. Just, just roll. Thanks, Slippy. I hey. knew there was a reason we kept you around. <laughs> Slippy is Torbjorn. <laughs> he just threw out he a shield. He totally is. He just threw out a shield. Oh, and he builds turrets. No, he yep. totally builds turrets. Slippy He's Torbjorn. Is Torbjorn. Uh, it also means that his play of the game is post-mortem most of the time. Because it's a turret kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that fits way better than it has any right to. Look out, folks. When did you get a British accent? Hmm? Crystal. Oh. Well, I mean, we only heard Crystal speak in the, like, the dinosaur tongue thing. I suppose. So I guess that's just what the, I guess that's the accent they went with. They're like, well, Crystal's supposed to have an accent. And they just went down the list of accents and picked that one. It's like, well, Amer Americans like British accents. Let's just go with that one. I mean, they're not wrong. I think they wanted an accent that we would automatically associate with sounding smart. I like their ape soldiers. <laughs> They're like just generic grunts. Yeah, he ain't getting away. We're on starfighters that can go atmospheric or entry. It's true. Just G system Let's go. go into all range mode. Mm. Did you notice that you have yet another different R wing? Yeah. It's not the no, stuff does one anymore. You've you've upgraded again. Huge military budget, Cordaria. God, just. Maybe they use us. Maybe the Star Fox team is their F thirty five program. You think so? You're I constantly mean... getting their newest ship. I'm you, on my third Starfighter in three years. You did get their untested comm technology in the last game. And that was an afterthought. You you might you might be their test platform, yeah. Where'd that crazed chimp Oikini go? Rob, find that black hearted ape's location. Affirmative. Well, it looks to be another lush jungle y planet. They got a lot of these in this system. Them good binomes. That's why they're trying to... That's why they bothered sending you out to rescue the first one. Good binomes like that are just hard to come by. See, Falco I get. Or... Hmm? Not Falco. Slippy I get. But why did you have guys following you, Falco? Because... Um... None of you do the wingman thing terribly well. That's true. Like, you fly in formation until the bad guys show up, and then it's like you all forget that one of you is supposed to fly behind the other one specifically to to stop that stuff. I'm not sure if it's just that, like, Peppy flies like an old man, and so he doesn't keep up with Falco, or if maybe, uh, maybe him and Crystal don't get along, I don't know. When it was three of you, it kind of made sense because one of you didn't have a wingman. Yeah. Of course, at that point, you should do some kind of, like, I don't know, delta formation or something. But but now you have two pairs. There should, like, be someone flying a little bit behind you in order to mop up. Keep you from getting outflanked, etc. Oh, Slippy needs help. I mean, that goes without saying, but... <laughs> Specifically, right there. Well, you haven't had to save Peppy or Crystal yet. Now, Peppy's not in a Starfighter. Oh, really? No. Oh, okay. He doesn't well, do you, that anymore. You do have odd numbers then. No, we still got four people. Here we 
you gonna shoot at him at any point? I think the others wait for a shooting solution. Whereas... What, whereas, instead of just spray bullets everywhere? I was gonna say, I think Fox is... Fox is a bit of a rogue. Just spray and praying everywhere. Everyone else likes that one shot, one kill, real clean look. Whereas anywhere that you've flown has just a, a path of scorch marks. It's like you can retrace his steps. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I just destroyed your base. Show me your true power. What are you up to? Careful, Fox. You never know what a cornered beast might do. Careful, don't let that ape escape. Mm. He's gonna try to sponge. Oh, he's gonna try reference. to punch my spaceship. Well, to be fair, that's what Andros would do. Except Andros didn't need a cool robot spaceship suit thing. He even did the Khmer move. Oh lord. He's very confident with that uh, flying suit. So, it's a Star Fox fight. Shoot at the key points when you can. Ouch. Like, his palms. And then you gotta dodge that big slap. Oh, alright. Oh, yeah, Fine. yeah, he's, he's punching your spaceship real good. But at least you know what to do. And Andros Wannabe, see? Yeah. yeah. It's Andros cosplay. Ooh, boy. It is! Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, man. That would be great. If you could get, like... So you'd have to get, like, a giant, like, uh, like paper mache Andros head. And then if you could get two friends to be big paper mache hands... <laughs> I think that would be a great group costume. Heck yeah. Oh. You broke one of them. Ow. I like when he does a little jazz hands to let you shoot at it. Alright, shouldn't have tried for that one. I was gonna say, the, the finger wiggles are definitely the... the time to really get some hits in. I'm not even sure if you can hit it during the punches. Like, Doesn't look like. It's, it seems like it flashes every time you get a real hit in. Ooh! <laughs> Good lord! All right, all right, fine. <laughs> Andros Cosmo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll show me. But uh, I will say that I do like the, like you know, I like the type of fights that the boss fights tend to be, even if I'm not great at them. Like, it, it rewards figuring out the pattern and, you know. Yeah. They're clever, I guess, is what I'm saying. And I appreciate that. Even though I usually end up, like, ramming the enemy ship and, you know, <laughs> blowing myself up. Yeah. It's a little well. embarrassing, I'll admit it. But, hmm. You're the tutorial boss. It's sad how you can't see that. Hello. That doesn't look friendly. Oh no, that's a bad. Uh, it's like an evil Mothra. Uh oh. New challenger. Doesn't have a health bar. His eyeball wings. That's because uh, Slippy was doing your shield analysis. Until then, in theory, you don't know what to shoot to hurt. Uh, I guess hit the eyeballs. 
Yeah, that's what's going on there. I don't want to think about where that beam's coming out of, you know, just given that it's a big bug. The answer is the abdomen, clearly. Yes, thank you. Okay, it should fly lopsided down, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah, for that. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for that sage like advice, <laughs> Peppy. Dodge. Why didn't you dodge? <laughs> you know, I guess I can't make too much fun. I mean, Peppy is the longest lived member of Team Star Fox. <laughs> What the Dragon Ball Z shit is this? <laughs> you okay, Fox? Not really. You're not supposed to collect the rocks. They're not items. Ow. Oh, just I mean, you're a giant frog. You should just eat the bug. Great. You're damaging it. Oof. <laughs> You're trading blows. I don't know if... Uh... Oh, you would. Oh, no. Watch where you're going, Fox! Thank you, Falco. Again, where is everybody else? Right? It's not like there's other things they're doing. <laughs> this thing is the only thing, in theory, that uh, is going on here. I assume they're dodging the same attacks you are, but none of them seem to be returning fire. Right? Just, uh... But okay. We got the big mean bug, and it exploded. Nice job. Hmm. With guns! The way we <laughs> defeat everything! Wait. Okay, I know that's a common turn of phrase in Japanese for I reasons, but still! Fox, you have to get that. Really? Well, okay. <laughs> Very nonchalant about it. It's like, uh, yeah, alright. Uh oh. Oh, you're out of the ship. That's bad. Lots of those things. Fox, yeah, that thing Spider that you Man. fought as a boss fight? <laughs> There's a whole squadron of them up there. Good. Good. Nice trick. Ooh, everybody oh, made it out alive. That was... That's always the goal. Members of Star Fox, Oof. a grave danger looms. The lilac system hey, just he's is a in dog. peril. <laughs> How do you know? Uh. I know. The research director will brief you on all the details. Hello again, everybody. You need to moisturize. <laughs> Hello, Hello the research know. director? You never told me that. <laughs> well, gee, didn't I? Yes. In any case, if I may continue, these are uh, asteroids. Slippy, right. are you related to everybody? I mean, basically. Indeed, they are the enemies you faced earlier. You say, because his uh, Uncle Griffey is the one doing the robot the mining right now. Yeah. Ago, yeah. A I wonder how that went for him. Aperoid. Oh, yeah, this would be after that. Somehow able to survive that trial, but that was uh, just a taste uh. of, of what's coming. But we are currently analyzing data from the core memory you found. Well, you just shoot it in its glowing spot. It's much easier if you're on a big ship with laser cannons. <laughs> yeah. They don't exactly move very quickly, so... We suspect aperoid involvement. You must find the distress signal. No problem at all, sir. In theory, the rest of the fleet is mopping up the, uh, right, Andros right. forces, so you're already on plan. I'm going to. No, I want you guys in our wings, covering me from above. 
I'm counting because you guys are ace pilots who totally help. You know, I mean, that's the narrative they keep pushing. So I'm gonna assume he's not just you know blowing mm. smoke. At least get my tank. <laughs> Seriously, I don't have enough body armor. I suppose if they shoot me in the leg, I don't lose anything permanent, but still. Hmm. It kind of looks like you have little shoulder pads, maybe. Tank? No. I mean... It kind of looks like you're dressed like Boba Fett. It's too quiet. I suppose. But you don't have a helmet. No. Something's wrong. Well, look at that noggin. Who wouldn't be able to wear a helmet? Not in fit in the Arwing at the same time. <laughs> oh, good job. Your Arwing is conveniently on the other side of that wall. It's the Aperoids after all. Okay, so. I had air support. Yeah, where is that air support now? Damn! This guy needs to stop being a starfighter and start sprinting. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're built for speed. You're a fox. I guess. Also, have you not played him in Smash Bros? He literally has an after image. You gotta change weapons to fit the situation. Fox. I suppose. His, uh, Shadow Fox? Head out to the I don't remember the the attack, but he literally does the little after image, like, pop back and forth thing. Clearly you're not a competitive Smash player. No. Star Fox, no items, Final I, Destiny. I refuse to believe competitive Smash players a thing. Well, I mean, you know me, I'm a filthy casual no matter what the game, but, uh, Fox is fun. You know. Like, Try using a charge shot. I like the other Destroy characters the too. Box. So I did see your air support flying around a couple of times. They're in theory up there doing something. Good. Good. I I, I guess they're the reason that you haven't gotten carried off by one of the big ones. I guess that bug ate a rocket launcher, and that's how you got that? <laughs> I guess. This guy is stupidly big. Send me a landmaster, will you? On its way. What's the situation? Well, I got my hands Oh, well, I just, asked, <laughs> I just asked for a landmaster, so that's your situation. The situation is I need a tank. That's cool. Let your, let your boyfriend show up. Good to see the transmission systems targeting is as sterling as ever. They missed with the teleporter. <sighs> okay. So you All have right. to go get over there. I mean, it's not too far from you. I mean, I don't know what he wanted. Got it. Forgot what to For it to be teleported, at, like, you know, right next to him or already inside of it. I think so, yeah. I guess it'd be a pain in the butt if any of these things could pile on a landmaster, but since they're just big, dumb bugs, he just had to shoot his way over it. No big. Well, what do you want me to do about it? You're in the fighter! Uh, shoot him down with the landmaster? What, you thought you had to stop? You, you didn't think you had to babysit him anymore? Is that the only gun you have? I think so. <laughs> You're gonna track it out and do it with the no, rocket launcher. No, that was a mistake. Slippy spine for once. Look, that's great and all. I feel for you. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> it happens. And I mean, yeah, that's a horrible slow tank gun. That's not what I want to go hunt planes with. I mean, in theory, there's a way to engage planes with, like, the 240 machine gun. But I gotta tell you, I'd never want to be in a position where you had to do it. 
Right? Like, there's textbook procedure for things, and then there's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can shoot high enough that you can hit planes, but no one would want to have to shoot a plane with that. Use your to get up the <laughs> Just drive over them. They're bugs. You crush bugs. I'm curious if that gun is better or worse than the gun on the R wing. Oh, I just in like raw power. Yeah. Well, if they all seem to destroy fighters in one hit. Oh yeah, that's why I'm, I'm unsure. Like, but I mean, my thought is, if it's worse, why not put the gun from the R wing? Yeah. If it's better, why doesn't the R wing have that gun? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it doesn't look significantly bigger than the uh, the guns already on the arm. Maybe it's incredibly dense for some reason, and so it can't be put on something that flies. Was I supposed to go in a thing, or...? <laughs> the elevator brought you back where you were. Jerk move. Come I don't on even now. know where those came from. Fell out of that drop ceiling, apparently. And that was it. Uh, I guess. You missed the elevator. Because <laughs> it's just on a timer, I guess. It'd be too much trouble if it waited for you. Harder to program. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss as to where you're supposed to go. Oh, I think I just have to blow up those guys. Oh. You've decided the tank is not worth the trouble? Not really. Not unless I'm getting swarmed. It's, uh... It's actually his, uh... Smash Ball, like, super special. Is it? In, uh... Not Melee, but... Brawl. Uh, when you get the Smash Ball on that one, it actually, like, does the matter... the, the transfer... uh... The, the matter transmission. Uh, and then you get to awkwardly fly around in a big oversized tank. Anything that gets in your way. Uh, it's funny because most of the stages really aren't big enough to accommodate it comfortably. Mm. So you end up kind of staying put and shooting a little bit, and then, yeah. Oh, good! Oh, good. Poor things. Oh, uh, they kind of look like UFO catchers. <laughs> They're trying to grab you like prizes. Mm. This looks bad. Our scans show those things can spawn more Aperon. Oh no. <sighs> so, yeah, I think it's gonna get real hectic now. <laughs> and that giant morph ball. Yeah. Okay, fine, I'll get in the tank. <laughs> yeah. I... Oh, good. I was gonna say, I don't remember where the tank is. Thankfully, there was an icon for it. Well, your team's supported, at least. I oh, Slippy help needs help. Uh... God, it seems like every time one of them needs help, they're behind a big building. I mean, you got two of them. Slippy, you should be able to take some initiative and get rid of that last one. Fox, get the enemy behind me! Thanks, Fox. I thought I was a goner. 
Well, I feel like I should apologize to Crystal. <laughs> I mean, it took a little bit to get used to the gun controls. You, you got there. And yes, you should apologize to Crystal. That's why she leaves. Uh. Ow. They're like big barnacles. Only a few targets left. Keep it up. Looks like four of them? Yeah. I'm curious if you have to deal with that big rolly death ball afterwards. Oh, probably. Or if it's just hazard. <laughs> that actually went really well. I thought that was going to be a whole thing, and then it just sort of sat there and let you... Let me shoot at it a whole bunch. Yep. I like these tank controls. Are they, are they real good? They're fantastic. The best the GameCube can offer. I mean, you're probably not wrong. Probably not. And to be fair, they had to program tank controls and flight controls and fox controls. That's true. That's a lot of controls. There's, there's a reason that games don't usually have, like, three different control systems. Turns out it's a big pain in the buns. Okay. Now you get to try and figure out where the last one is. Down the elevator. Oh. You gotta come mix it up personally. Well, of course. To remind you how good you have it in that tank. It may have awkward controls, but... Like, I don't know why you went to grenades, but okay. I think you have to shoot it with the... Oh, well, of course it is. <laughs> you say, do you have a rocket launcher left? I do. Got 17 rocket launchers left. Because those big ones seem to have shields. Yeah. You could use a health pickup, though. I haven't seen any health pickups, actually. Uh, come to think of it. Nice! Let's see if you can just snipe him from here. Yeah. Nice job. Uh, and now what? Bad feeling about this. Well, to be fair, you didn't have a boss fight. And Star Fox stages don't end until you have one. Yes, so, Lippy. Huh? Could you guys shoot it this time? <laughs> this does seem like the kind of thing that you would shoot down from, like, you know, air. Maybe even from orbit. Yeah. Now I'll fight this thing the size of a small city. <laughs> like a Shadow of the Colossus boss. That's great. How about you guys deal with it? I feel like you need to be in the tank for this. You're probably right. It's just a feeling I get. It's even got the rings out. <laughs> Oh, you just have to shoot it in its cloaca. Oh, I was really trying to avoid that word. Sorry. <laughs> My first thought was, uh, did you ever watch the movie Evolution? David Duchovny? Oh, uh, once. At one point. It's like when they had to beat up the giant starfish thing at the end of it. Using the power of, uh, head and shoulders. Because it had, uh... Selenium, or... I don't know. Whatever its anti-gendrip ingredient is, was apparently something that it was, like, weak to. 
I can only assume the manufacturers of that shampoo had a, a, a big stake in that movie. Oh. Oh, you have to fly up there now. This seems like the part where the planes should be helping. Right? You know, you pop the spot on the bottom and then... Oh. Just sit on top of it and shoot a whole bunch. And then it knocks you down. They, they, good. They blew up my tank. Here, I'll send you another tank. Or you guys could do this. I mean, it's not like this thing flies; it just hovers. This would be a lot easier in an R wing. <laughs> okay, now shoot it. Oh yeah. Everyone, use your bombs. I'll get out of the way. Also, if that's the core memory, and you're just shooting, I just it. I was I was laying into it with a tank cannon. Careful, we don't know anything. Ah, I guess the piece you needed is still intact somehow. I know that. Hey, it looks like that distress signal is no longer transmitting. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Couldn't have anything to do with the massive amount of destruction of the base. Ah. Other Somebody planes. shoot him? Like, I know Crystal had to bail, but there's still two of you up there. Yeah. Just pay the pig, it's not like we don't have the budget. He has nose art on his plate, did you notice that? Yeah. Get back to the Great Fox now! I mean, I think you probably wouldn't pay him on principle simply because, like, he betrayed your dad. Heck, Peppy probably wouldn't pay him. That's true. Alrighty, well, next time on Endless Mode... Maybe more of this at some point. Maybe, at some point. Thanks or some other furry game. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you later.